The other element was the reflection layer. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to make my floors a little more reflective. So let's say I just want the floors reflective. This is a reflection pass for everything that has reflection in it. Let's say I want to add a little more reflection to my windows. I could add that reflection. So the way to use this is to change the blending mode to a screen. And you can see that it's adding more reflection to it, but it's a little too much. And there are a couple of different modes that you can use to get the effect that you want. This is a soft light and it gives you a different control. So what I'm going to do is create a mask and set my mask to black. So that way it's not using anything with that reflection layer. Now, if I want to just paint in reflection in certain areas, for example, if I want the slant shade to be more reflective, then I can come in and make my brush smaller and paint in stronger reflection, just like that. So it's a way to give you more control on certain aspects. So if I want more reflection on my pendant up here, I can do that. I don't have to come back and paint around it. But now you can see the reflection, the glass. So now you can actually see the glass. It gives it a little more definition. The idea is that you want to use these elements to control aspects of your rendering. And you can do the same with refraction as well.